Welcome back to Tactical Stuff Reviews and today we will be reviewing the Cold Steel Black Sable. Not the exact Cold Steel Black Sable but I think they just used the name but this is a very different blade. Okay. So so a little trivia on on the Cold Steel Black Sable. Black Sable is um from cold steel but it is already not in production they discontinued the production of the knife for some reason so um, i got this from shopee and delivered by ninja van so as you can see the box is a mess right here there's nothing much on the box it's just a plain <coughs> light blue box with some scotch tape right here so that's it for the box and here it is here's the knife on a plastic wrapper so here's the knife okay all right so I have this knife like some weeks ago but so there are some wear to the coating of so on some areas of the knife <clears throat> so black sable designed by ray cutlery handcrafted in usa but i doubt that because i think this is from china so it says 7 cr 17 steel which is not a good steel but this will do jobs like good for cutting of course because of the vanadium more vanadium content on the knife 7 cr 17 stainless steel <clears throat> so wear resistant corrosion resistant and rust resistant but it does not hold it hold its um edge poor edge retention but easy to sharpen so i think that's fine and that's fair 7 cr 17 so here it is with some jimpings on the on the spine right here and right here also gym pings on the thumb thumb ramp right here so this comes with a flipper and also a thumb stud so and a lanyard hole right here <clears throat> and some gym pings right here i think this is for for some reason and so some gym pings over here and uh pocket clip good for right pocket carry so this is non uh, non non transferable pocket clip but I think that's fine because this is um, a right hand biased blade because of the liner lock so some cutouts right here and cutouts right here and cutouts right here and also here so let's do this I will be using the flipper here so this is a spring assisted knife right here so pretty good um, <clears throat> pretty good um, drop point blade with if you look look closely so there is some sort of recurve right here some sort of belly on the blade good for cutting good for piercing because of the drop point which thins this is thick right here but as it goes to the tip it becomes thinner right here so here it is black sable with the pivot right here so the overall total or the total length of the knife is 8.5 inches here it is 3.5 inches blade and five inches handle that's a total of eight eight point five so here it is with our thumb ramp right here so it doesn't have some sort of uh, finger troil but the flipper itself holds like um, something some sort of a finger troil but you have to keep your finger away as much as possible 
on this cutting edge right here so very good for precision cutting this has some weight to it so I think this is good for chopping but this is not a chopper but if you want to chop things smaller things you can do this with this knife so the turkey is always disrupting me <laughs> or interrupting the video I mean so it is for your care normal carry right here and so you can also use this for self-defense for reverse grip so you can put your thumb right here on the jimping so this is a very comfortable knife to handle I'm surprised with the comfortability of the handle because of the cutouts right here that fits perfectly on your fingers a little bit of um, hot spot but I think that's fine so it is with the cold sable black uh, cold steel black sable 2017 knives I think it is so this coating is not DLC or diamond like carbon coating but this is just um, um, paint black paint coating and this is not very good for your covert operations because it is very reflective but I like the blade shape and all also the handle is surprisingly comfortable with a little bit of hot, hot spots but I think that's fine so I think this has some a pointy edge on the handle so I think they can you can use this also for um, um, glass breaking or temple smasher so to, to close to this blade all you have to do is um, to push this stainless steel liners downward and close to the blade all the way so you have two different options to open this knife you can use the flipper or the thumb stud right here so again this is a, a spring assisted knife and with the uh, aluminum scales with some stainless steel liners it does not have um, a backspacer but it's fine good for easier to clean <clears throat> so this is not the real look of the cold steel black sable so the cold steel black sable looks like this so as you can see that is a very very different blade or knife considering that this is a very cheap one on some sort of clone so on a scale of 1 to 10 with the blade shape I think and the blade steel I think I would give this a 7 so that's ju that is just my opinion so I think that's all for our tactical stuff reviews thank you